Congratulations on the purchase of your Trim Pro Rotor. You have now joined the club of thousands of happy owners. This is the most popular unit in the Trim Pro line, and after using it, you will soon discover why. Shown here is the rotor purchased as a combo with its workstation table. You might also have purchased the rotor without its table, but we recommend getting the combo. Let's now look at getting your machine set up. Here is the packaging of your unit. A clean, unconspicuous box without any images or descriptions of the contents other than fragile stickers, the machine's product code, and its serial number. The workstation table for your unit comes in its own separate packaging. Our units are now sealed with tape bearing our factory's logo to show the machine has not been tampered with since it left the factory. We will begin by showing how to set up your workstation table. Place the box so the stickers are legible and cut the tape. Remove the protective packaging. The legs will slip into the sockets at the corners of the table. Use the thumb screws to secure them in place. The Velcro attachments secure the bag to its ring. Use the clips to secure the bag onto the unit. Your workstation table is now ready for the machine. Let's now move on to the main unit. Cut the factory tape and remove the packaging. Keep your chute nearby. We will be needing it soon. The bag also contains tools to fine-tune adjustments according to your plant's specificities. The unit is lightweight and can be easily assembled by one person. Remove the elastics and protectors on the power cords of the unit. Insert the male plug from the bottom drum to the female plug of the control box. Use the male cord from the control box and plug it into an outlet. Using a flathead screwdriver or a socket, remove the screws from the chute. Put the screws through the brackets in front of the exit door. Use the screws to fasten the chute to the machine. That's all there is to it! We're now all set to use the machine. See how easy it was to get set up? Make sure to read the provided instructions carefully before using the machine. Here is the command center for this machine. The top switch controls the motor that turns the finger assembly. The bottom switch controls the blade motor. The fingers are made of leather soaked in vegetable oil to keep the suppleness of the material and prevent resin buildup. Rubber fingers are also available for this model. We manufacture our own blades out of quality steel which we temper to keep the edge sharp for long periods. Both the blade and the grate are covered with a non-stick coating to make cleaning quick and easy. Using the unit is very simple. Put a few handfuls of fresh flowers in the top, but do not fill it up. Leave your flowers in for 45 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on the density of the foliage. The cut leaves will collect in the bag below while your flowers stay on the top of the grate. Open the front door while leaving the fingers on to empty the machine. Before doing any maintenance or changing adjustments, make sure to unplug the unit. To adjust the height of the fingers, loosen the screw on the arm assembly by a quarter to a half turn using either your own keys or the ones provided with the machine. If the flowers are being dragged rather than rolled, simply raise the height of the assembly. If the fingers are skipping over your flowers rather than rolling them, simply lower the assembly. Retighten the screw to secure the assembly in place. Remember to use the freshest flowers you can to ensure the best quality manicure. It is always a good idea to separate your flowers into small, medium, and large grades when removing them from the stems. Try to run a grade at a time in the unit to maximize the efficiency and ensure consistent cut quality. Remember to use a plastic or silicon scraper to clean your blade and grate. Metal tools can damage the nonstick coating. 
We suggest cleaning these parts every two to three hours for best results. You may also adjust the height of the blade. For more information on this process, please see our blade adjustment tutorial video. We recommend having the blade sharpened every six months to a year. A good indication the blade should be sharpened is when the machine seems to be tearing off leaves rather than cutting them off. For assistance or any questions, visit us at trimpro.com. Write us at info at trimpro.com or call us at 1-450-349-0811 and toll free at 1-844-TRIMPRO. Thanks for watching and enjoy all the time and effort your Trimpro Rotor will save you.